Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is choosing the right video production software. When you're choosing the right video production software, there's a few really important things. Well, first of all, it's got to be able to work with the camera you have today. And it's also got to work with the cameras in the future. So multiple native formats. And when you hear native, what that means is the format that that camera shoots. If you're shooting on DSLR, you're shooting AVC HD, which is a highly compressed format, but you want to make sure that you can edit that. You also want to make sure that you can output to any format you want, from mobile devices to YouTube HD, all the way up to DCP packages in 4K. You also want to make sure that that software works with other things like still images and animation. So there really is only one choice for all of that across the board, and that's Adobe Creative Cloud. Now, before you think cloud means I'm going to run it in my browser, you're not. The cloud part means you're going to download it from the cloud and it updates from the cloud, but you're still running it as a local application. There's four applications in Creative Cloud that are really important to video production. And the first one is Adobe Premiere Pro. That is your video editing software. It's a place where you can import all of your video, make your edits, add graphics, and then you want to output from there. And you're actually outputting on Adobe Media Encoder, which is an amazingly powerful application for outputting. And then for animations, you definitely want Adobe After Effects. And this can create great animated lower thirds, 3D graphics, compositing, visual effects, you name it. And then for audio, it's a great little program to use called Adobe Audition. Audition is great for mixing and mastering, but I use it to fix things like when a cell phone rings on set or something drops on set and I want to remove that. Now there's Photoshop and although you may not think of that as a regular video production program, it is part of that. So Adobe Photoshop CC is part of that. You can work with layered files. There's also another program, it's one of my favorite, for color grading and it's called Adobe Speedgrade. And that application can allow you to color correct like a feature film. It's incredible. The, the looks that Speedgrade has are actually part of Premiere Pro. So you can work with Speedgrade looks right in Premiere Pro without even having to start Speedgrade. Now, the other thing that's important, I think personally, having been in the business for many years is to understand that sometimes your video assets don't just live in video. Sometimes they move to the web, they move to print, to PDF, to all of these places. And that's another great reason to have Creative Cloud because Creative Cloud contains applications for video, design, print, web, you name it. I mean, it's out there. A great little gem that I love is Adobe Muse. If you're creating websites and you're not a coder like me and you don't like the canned look of things like blogs and WordPress, which are fine, but they can look like everybody else's. Then Adobe Muse allows you to create that in a drag and drop visual environment. Adobe InDesign for creating publications, EPUBs, uh, digital PDFs with even video embedded inside them, uh, posters, uh, banners, you name it. And then Adobe Illustrator. This is a really, this has been a, it's actually Adobe's oldest application, but it's actually a secret weapon that I use for importing graphics or converting graphics or working with the highest quality vector graphics. So bottom line is Adobe Creative Cloud gives you everything from video, print, web, publishing across the board. Oh, and Acrobat and PDF, which you can also embed uh, videos in PDF and give them to someone and they can play them back. So Creative Cloud that you run locally is really the only toolkit that involves all of these areas that you'll, if you're in this business for any length of time, you're going to be using those. Even for YouTube videos, Creative Cloud is the tool of choice. If you found this informative, uh, I hope you have, uh, take a moment and subscribe to Video Revealed. And if you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then go to adobe.com and download a free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Mm -hmm.